Hi there, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow Books and Artist Tablet Books. In this video, we will explore painting with the wet media, acrylics and oils in Painter Essentials 6. The Orchid Light and Shadow Play painting was painted with brushes that simulate wet oils, such as the Real Oils Filbert, Real Wet Brush, and Wet Oily Brush, and Variable Flat. Details were painted with the Opaque Detail Brush, and to blend, I used the Just Add Water variant of blenders. The painting on the right, Cloudscape, is kind of a mixed media with both the acrylics brushes and some of the same oils that I used on the orchid painting. I'm going to go through stages of this one a little bit later after we try out some of the brushes. I've opened a new document and made some practice strokes with a few of my favorite acrylics and oils brushes. Let's explore them. First of all, to choose a color, choose Window, Color to open the color wheel or type Command for Mac, Control for Windows, and number one to open the color wheel. We're going to choose our brush from the brush selector in the upper left hand corner. Click this little arrow and you see acrylics and oils category is chosen and the wet oily brush is chosen. So now that we have our wet oily brush in hand, I'm going to reset the tool to make sure that we've got the default and I'm going to move the color wheel over a little bit and we're going to use this nice blue color to make some strokes. Now, the wet oily brush is an artist oils media brush, which means it the media is very oily. I can press down hard to apply some media and you see it tapers off. And if I want to blend, let me choose another color, uh, show you how nicely these blend together with lighter pressure right here on my Wacom tablet. Now the next brush we're going to have a look at is the clumpy brush and it's up here. Now the clumpy brush is also an artist oils style brush and it applies brush strokes with more of a clumpy look with streaks like so and it also blends very nicely. The third oils brush that we're going to have a look at is the Real Oils Filbert. Now this is one of my very favorite brushes. With the Real Oils Filbert we can lay down color and blend like so, and I'm going to paint over the top. I'm pressing really hard, so let's choose another color here. So you see we can blend this pink color into the blue. And choose the blue again. And also notice that the bristle marks are very expressive. The Real Oils Filbert incorporates the Artist Oils media and also real bristle type brushes which allow you to bend them and spread them when you paint like so. Now the next brush we're going to have a look at is the acrylic. Now this is the opaque acrylic and with the opaque acrylic you have a brush that lays down color in an opaque manner and you have expressive bristles as well. Here I'm varying pressure on my tablet and if I lay this pink over the top you see it's completely opaque. So this is a good brush for laying in flat areas of color and then doing modeling over the top with some of the other brushes. The next brush we're going to have a look at is the real wet brush. Now the real wet brush shown right here applies very bristly strokes and here I'm using lighter pressure. You see you get beautiful bristle texture if I paint this over here. You see how you could use this for modeling forms very nicely. And then the last brush we're going to have a look at right now is the wet soft acrylic. Now I like the wet soft acrylic for sketching and then also for doing modeling, modeling of forms, kind of like we talked about the other one. 
It's also useful for glazing. So if I choose some light pink and I can glaze over the top and it's also going to smear some of the color that's underneath as you're applying the glaze over the top. Cloudscape study shown finished on the right is an abstract landscape painted from my imagination using the acrylics and oils brushes in Painter Essential 6. When planning the composition, I kept about two-thirds of the image for the sky with about one-third of the image left from the land, as you see right here. To work on this sketch, I used the wet soft acrylic, and I, I began by choosing a color in the color wheel here and laying in strokes like so and I chose the blue for the distant hill because cooler colors like this blue will recede and the hill will seem to be further away and for the little bit closer landform here I sketched in with kind of a brown just to suggest it like so and I'm using a little bit of purple here now for the sky, I used a variety of pinks and golds and blues, and I did these patching just, just to do color notes, to kind of give me an idea of where I wanted to put the colors in the sky. And if you want to sample from the image, choose the dropper, go back to the brush, and you see I can lay in some more of this gold color up here. So I did this all from my imagination, just remembering vibrant sunrises or sunsets. And as you see this color pulling right here, the wet soft acrylic also allows us to lay in color, but then smear color as we apply color. When I wanted to paint flat areas of color, I used the opaque acrylic and I'm going to bring forward another image here I'm going to enlarge it as you see in stage two I've used the opaque acrylic to lay in some flat areas of color like so and then you can you can choose blue and if I wanted to, to expand this area right here a quick way to lay in flat areas of color that you can then blend and make more expressive with, with one of the other brushes. Now I'm going to go back to my favorite Real Oils Filbert and see what we can do here with that color that's laid down so that we're able to blend it and pull color out. mix, and so on. So I'm going to go on to the next stage of the study. Let me enlarge this. The clouds are further along. I've done a lot more work with the Real Oils Filbert here feathering the clouds up in this area, adding brighter blue here, and I've developed the landscape a little bit more using both the opaque acrylic and the real oils filbert. Now the final image shows a lot of subtle blending in the sky. I wanted to keep it very dynamic, so I've got the movement of the clouds just as if the wind were pulling these areas of the clouds up and the other ones behind them are expanding as well. And the movement kind of goes like this, where as the landscape movement is going from the left to the right and around, and the clouds come up here. So it's kind of a circular effect with the design of the piece, dynamic energy going on in the clouds and in the landscape. As you can see, you can achieve a lot of expression and variety with the beautiful wet media brushes in Painter Essential 6. Have fun, happy painting. Mm -hmm.